I'm Endor11. Welcome back to another episode of the NFL Predictions. Last time we did week 13, and today we'll be doing week 14. But before we do that, man, let's recap this week. This was probably one of the craziest weeks in the NFL we've had yet. We had the Dolphins, which I predicted, upsetting the Eagles, but a fake field goal with a field goal kicker threw it to the punter. That was insane. We had the Bills being the Cowboys. A fantastic game with the Ravens being the Niners. Super happy Justin Tucker at the end. I did get some predictions wrong. We had the Bengals winning the first game, so congrats to Cincy fans. We had some upsets here with the Redskins being the Panthers. The Rams dominated Arizona, and Chicago got the Detroit win, but really every game was entertaining. You had Patrick Mahomes and Casey go out. The Titans look really good. Drew Locke wins his first start. Doug Hodges, you know, has something in him. The Texans beat New England. The Tampa Bay's defense looked really great. The Bills dominating. Their team that's upcoming. Seattle game was amazing. A great snow game here. And the Saints clinch the NFC South with a win. So really a lot happened. Probably one of the most busy weeks in the NFL. So this week ends on an NFC game with a Thursday night and ends on Monday night. So let's begin there. We have the Dallas Cowboys visiting the Chicago Bears. I'm going to look at the Cowboys. I think that um, Dak Prescott is better than Mitchell Trubisky. And I think Amari Cooper has played really well. So I think that will be enough for the Cowboys to get a pretty good game. I mean, these are two kind of classic rivals. I think Dallas wins by two scores. Panthers and Falcons. The Panthers fired Ron Rivera, which, in my opinion... Um, I think it's sad, but I think the Panthers need a new face. I do think Ron Rivera will get another job in the NFL, and I believe he should. He's a really great guy and coach. For this game, I think Atlanta wins. They've had luck against the their division this season, and I think they'll sweep the Panthers this year. Redskins got the upset against the Panthers, but I don't know if they'll do it against Green Bay. Aaron Rodgers looked really great against the Giants, and I think they'll win here at home. A really amazing game here. The 49ers and the Saints. A really great game. No one is talking about it at all. Two top-tier NFC teams. I think the Saints will win just because they have home field advantage. I think it will be close. But Drew Brees against that amazing defense. I have New Orleans. And there's the North duel here with the Lions and Vikings. Vikings looking really good. I know they lost, but Kirk Cousins having a great season. Dalvin Cook, he's been insane. I think Minnesota wins it. Seattle and L.A. on Sunday night here. Really interesting game in the West. I do think both um, teams will play it close. I think the Rams will have some success already like they did against Arizona. I think Jared Goff had a good game. But Russell Wilson is playing at really an elite level. So if the Seahawks winning and the 49ers losing, I think that puts Seattle in a good spot here for the NFC West. Very interesting here with the playoffs upcoming. And then Monday night, um, Eli Manning is starting for the New York Giants against the Philadelphia Eagles. I like how he, uh, you know Daniel Jones is injured. Eli Manning, probably his last game. You know the Eagles and Giants have a lot of history. I think it's just kind of a classic way for him to end up his career if this is his last game. I got the Eagles winning. Um, I know they didn't beat Miami, but I think they'll bounce back and win. Well, we have two AFC NFC games. We have the Colts and Buccaneers. I think this will be a really interesting game. I really like Jacoby Brissett and Indy, but it seems like if Jameis Winston, Chris Godwin, Mike Evans can all get on the same page and their defense has the playmakers, I think Tampa Bay is going to win this game against Indy. I think it will be close. But for me, guys, the Buccaneers are a team that I think if they add only a couple pieces in the offseason, they could be pretty good next season. Steelers, Cardinals here, rematch of that Super Bowl a couple months ago. I really don't know. I would go Pittsburgh because their defense is really great. Duck Hodges play well, but I think Kyler Murray at home will make enough plays and get it done. I think that offense, I think it's going to be a really close game, but I have Arizona winning. I think it'll be really close, say 30-24. I just trust Kyler Murray than I do Duck Hodges, even though he did play really well. AFC, Ravens and Bills here. Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, batter of last year's draft class. Probably the two best quarterbacks from that draft class who have performed so far. Um, I'm going to go with the Ravens. The Bills have a really good defense, and I like them, but Lamar Jackson and Ravens seem pretty unstoppable. We have another quarterback from that draft class here with Baker Mayfield and the Browns hosting the Bengals. I think the Browns will win this, and I think the Bengals will fall to 2-1-12. I think the Browns will rebound and get a home win. And then we have the other uh, classes from that, uh, other quarterbacks from that draft class. Josh Rosen is with Miami, though he's not starting, but instead it's Ryan Fitzpatrick. You know, being the Eagles, going into New York to take on Sam Ronald. I'm going to go with the Dolphins. I think they have that energy. I just don't really trust Miami, and I trust Brian Flores more than I do Adam Gates. So I think all 
It's funny, all those first-round quarterbacks from last year's draft class playing these games. You know, you have Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen, Baker Mayfield, Josh Rosen, Sam Darnold, even though Josh Rosen's bench. It's just kind of a fun fact. Broncos, Texans, um, I think Houston wins. They looked really great against New England, and I think they'll win pretty dominantly here. I think Julak will play good. I, I think he should start the rest of the season. I think he looked pretty good against L.A. Speaking of which, they play the Jaguars, where Nick Foles is benched for Gardner Minshew. I'm going to go with the Jaguars. I think that I really like what I've seen from Gardner Minshew so far this season. He's really impressed me. I think him and Kyle Murray have been the two best rookie quarterbacks. Oh, man. Chiefs and Patriots here. Rematch of the AC Championship game. Man, that Patriots defense is really good. But Patrick Mahomes in the offense, I think, will win. New England struggling on defense. I think the Chiefs win here. I could see New England winning because it's at New England. But I'm going with KC in this game. And then Titans here on the Raiders. I'm going to go with Tennessee. I think Ryan Tannehill, I, I've been really impressed with him. The running game and their defense has the playmakers to do it. So that, guys, is my prediction. Is here for week 14. Let me know in the comments below. Should be really entertaining week. All the primetime games. We have a lot of great AFC games. Over a fantastic week of football. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.